Thomas, can you uh, comment on your use of transfusions and uh, what's the role? I think it's, uh, it's important to acknowledge that uh, transfusion uh, is uh, the most commonly treatment of MDS worldwide. And that transfusion uh, will be a big change in the lives of patients. Uh, when uh, they become transfusion dependent, it's a huge change in the lifestyle and the quality of life. Uh, the objective we should have for this patient is to try to maintain uh, as long as possible the quality of life and that will basically drive a way uh, to consider transfusion based on uh, the hemoglobin levels but also the comorbidities of the patient. Uh, is the patient having any uh, pulmonary uh, comorbidities, any cardiac uh, comorbidities? We know from prior studies that uh, one of the potential consequences uh, of uh, anemia in this patient is increased risk of cardiovascular events. And that may be something driving the prognosis and potentially uh, risk of death for this patient. So that will be uh, the way we will need to assess the patient. What's the quality of life of the patient? What's the daily activity they have? What are their comorbidities? Uh, to a little bit try to have an idea of the exact needs uh, for transfusion. What should be uh, the threshold of transfusion we'll be using uh, for this patient. Uh, At the it's end, not yeah. a one size fits all. Correct. You know, our blood Definitely. bank is always trying to tell us it's one size fits all. Yeah, you know, agree. that there's an absolute level, mm. but actually it varies per patient depending mm. upon what their comorbid illness mm. is. Mm -hmm and uh, you know, what, they're, what they're required to do in their life. Mm. If they actually are trying to maintain a full-time job or to Correct. maintain work, it's very different than if they're sedentary all day long at home. So taking into those factors actually really changes that range quite a bit. And, and we find that I think we are getting into more like objective tools to assess quality of life. There are now you know, quality of life tools that are specific for MDS, the quantum that are started to be incorporated. That shows clearly that there is correlation obviously between cytopenias and, and patient quality of life and that improving their cytopenia and even with transfusions alone will improve the quality of life in terms of how they feel, but obviously it also affects the quality of life because now they are dependent to come to the center every well, two weeks. it's a full-time job for right. some patients actually when you come in in the morning for your transfusion, by the time your type and hold is done, by the time the units are identified right. for you, by the time those units are transfused for you, it can be a longer than eight hour business day. Right. So that it's a real commitment for patients to be treated with transfusion and that actual burden of coming in constantly mm -hmm. for blood counts and transfusion can really be a driver for treatment. Right. So two things I see, one is there is a general underestimation of the Trans, um, degree of transfusion dependence in many of these patients, particularly the lower risk patients. Right. Second is, uh, for me, it's very difficult to know how many transfusions a patient has had. Right. So, uh, just can, can you be share a your oh, experience? Yes, yes. It's, it's very yeah. challenging, mm -hmm. absolutely. And yeah. it's not, well, it's not easy to find in the electronic medical record and when I you're think. trying to figure out actually how many transfusions a patient has mm -hmm. had, it can take a very long time, if, hours actually, to actually mm -hmm. quantify that. And if they're being seen in more than one place, Correct. they have a summer right. home in, in one place, or they're wintering in Florida, or you know, you, they're, you're sharing with their primary uh, MD, you have really no idea what the total number is. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's a real problem for us, especially when we consider patients for iron chelation or things like that. If we, they've had 50 units yeah. or 15 units, it makes a difference. So in all the studies, trans, the number of transfusions uh, correlates well right. with the, their outcome. ferritin and right. other measures mm -hmm. of iron overload right. and their outcome. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think that's an important measure, but uh,